All right, Pisces, what is up? Happy Monday to everybody. Hope everybody had a fabulous weekend. I know I did. Just joking. All right, so I already saged my cards, guys, so we're going to skip out on that. Let's see what energy we have for Pisces. 7th through the 11th, single jumping cards only. Damn. You will be receiving a precious gift with the diamond card coming out. This is, did I already say that? 7th through the 11th. I'm going to put that one back because I didn't set my intention. So you got the diamond bust now. You will be receiving a precious gift announcement with the bell. Dog barking advice from a friend. Firecracker excitement. Ear, good news. So there may be some type of good news coming in this week, Pisces. There could be some type of an exciting announcement coming in. All right, with the bell, the diamond, you'll be receiving a precious gift and tear, damn, teardrops. Great personal sorrow and advice from a friend. Bottom of the deck, we have increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goal. So let's bust this down. See what's going on. Why is the diamond here? What is this about? For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Mars, and Venus. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you um, for all the comments. Um, I'm still going through reading them. So um, if I haven't responded, don't feel like I'm ignoring you guys. I just needed to take a moment to myself. All right, Diamond, you'll be receiving a precious gift. Hmm. All right, Pisces. Bam. Ten of Pentacles, King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups. You have Ace of Pentacles, the Chariot, the King of Pentacles. God dang. Okay. <laughs> Pisces. Y'all may have uh, someone coming in, someone who's very hot and tempting, okay? Aries Leo Sag energy does not have to be. This is just someone who's an entrepreneur, a go-getter, all right? A lot of financial stability, a lot of wealth. This could be a marriage, a partnership, or someone who wants to work together and collaborate with you. Um, this may be someone from your past. I know you guys are sick of hearing that, but, you know, I can't help the energy. Ace of Pentacles, there's going to be a gift presented towards you the chariot someone may be traveling king of pentacles this is someone who's loyal committed grounded um they may have gone through some type of um like awakening or enlightenment all right so let's just see it's raining so hard i love the sound of rain i just love it all right you'll be receiving a precious gift Tell me more. Three cards. Tell me more. For Pisces, from 7th through the 11th. Single jumping cards only. Spirit, you already know how I roll. So, Knight of Wands coming out. Again, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. I did see the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Swords. It came out in reverse, so... Um, that came out together, so we're not going to take it. Someone's rushing in very passionately. Nine of Swords, or someone's worried about some, some type of passionate behaviors, passionate exercise. Three Pentacles in the reverse. Give me one more. Somebody here is having a hard time sleeping or they're being like tormented or haunted in their sleep. Maybe about not working together um, with you. Yeah, there's something here about sleep or about nighttime. Um, yeah. Eight of cups in the reverse coming out. Eight of pentacles in the reverse. This is someone backtracking, someone who did not put in the work. Three pentacles in the reverse. This person uh, may have rejected you. You may be rejecting this person or this person's worried about rejection. <gasps> Nine of Wands. There's a lot of passion here. Someone may be worried about this or 
someone's in and out. This could be someone who is in and out, flighty, maybe wanting to come in and give you some type of gift, but there's some type of worry here. Or someone's like losing sleep over some type of rejection here and not working together, not collaborating, not wanting to, or some, something like that. Show me excitement. What's this excitement about spirit? Or Pisces? Five of Cups. How the hell is that excitement? Eight of Swords. King of Cups. Five of Pentacles. This is some fucked ass energy. Excuse my language. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. King of Cups. You could be dealing with the masculine. This could be a father figure. It doesn't have to be. Or just someone who's very nurturing, loving, has a lot of deep emotions. But someone's feeling... Someone regrets leaving someone out in the cold. Someone may regret leaving you out in the cold, Pisces. I don't know how, why that's exciting. But anyways, someone here is regretful. Crying over spilled milk for looking at other options. Leaving something out in the cold. Someone may be going through some type of financial issues or even health issues. Um, someone may be in their emotions or drinking with the Eight of Swords. Someone may be feeling stuck or trapped in a, some type of situation or even stuck in their fucking head. I don't know why this is exciting. Show me good news. Please show me some good news. The Magician. Virgo Gemini energy. So whatever it is that you've been manifesting that's coming in for you. The full card. It could be uh, Aries or a new beginning. All right. Something starting over. Taking some type of a risk here. Oh, this is a relationship. This is um, a partnership even or a soulmate connection. Two people who see eye to eye. Or s I just heard someone... To people who like share the same vision or the same, I heard soul, but this isn't necessarily the twin flame card. But uh, anyways, um, yeah, sh share the same vision is what I'm getting. This could be some type of good news. Someone's manifestations are coming in. It's pertaining to a new beginning in love or a new partnership here show me the bell star page of swords reverse so it could be an aquarius possibly who you know maybe scorpio who maybe um This person may be spying or being very fucking petty or just telling like little white lies. This is someone who uh, is going through some type of change. There is wish fulfillment here. Something is ending. Something is ending and something new is beginning. But there's this air energy here. There could be some challenging information about a child as well. Someone's wanting to heal something, change, transform a situation. What's this page of swords in the reverse? There's some type of an announcement here. The Empress. Someone may be like, I don't know, lying on a mother figure, lying on an Empress, or just being real fucking petty when it... Someone's abundance speaks volumes. Someone here is a star. Someone here has changed, transformed their life. And I feel like there's someone here on the outside who's being petty or, you know. I heard whispering sweet nothings. Show me great personal sorrow. Teardrops, the strength card could be a Leo, four of wands. This could be, someone may be feeling weighed down by a marriage or someone may be holding back. A lot of fire energy here. Someone here is feeling like weighed down, burdened by some type of a marriage or a home. They may be holding back. There could be some type of sadness over a loss or, um, I don't know. But someone here is feeling like weighed down and burdened over something. Show me dark dog barking. Advice from a friend. What's this advice about? 
Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. This could be um, advice from a friend. Seven of Wands. Someone who walked away from a situation emotionally is having a hard time sleeping. Yeah, someone's not getting any rest. Someone is like wanting, someone walked away from a situation emotionally in search of their nine of cups, but it, oftentimes they find out the grass isn't greener and they often end up returning. So the eight of cups reverse, four of swords reverse. I've seen both those cards in this reading so far earlier, but someone's advising someone to like stand their ground or put, block out something here or to be confident and stand their ground. Someone here is definitely waiting on some type of ships to come in. Someone's waiting on something. Someone's being advised to be confident and stand your ground. So good news is, is that I don't know. Good news is that somebody regrets leaving you out in the cold, Pisces. Somebody, you may have been manifesting this person, Aries, Virgo, Gemini energy, or manifesting some type of a soulmate connection, connection, something brand new, maybe. That's coming in. There's someone here who's feeling weighed down, burdened. There's some type of sorrow, some type of loss. Someone may be crying in regret for leaving you out in the cold, they're feeling weighed down and burdened by some type of a home or a house or, or a marriage or something. And they're holding back. They're holding this back. They're being very courageous. They're, they're trying to uh, have a lot of strength at this time. Someone is definitely very passionate. Someone may be wanting to give you some type of a gift. This is someone who rejected you, didn't want to work together with you. Now they're feeling haunted by this They're in their sleep. Maybe for being flighty, maybe for being in and out, player energy. Now they regret something. Maybe you're having some type of a new soulmate connection coming in. And now they're sad. Great personal sorrow. Spirit is advising you to be confident, stand your fucking ground, maybe even turn your back on this situation. But again, I see you like waiting for something to come in and it's coming in. Whatever it is that you're waiting on, it's coming in. In the distant horizons. There is some type of change here, some type of transformation. Someone here is very abundant, but this fucking page of swords in the reverse is thrown. What is this page of swords in the reverse? Or who is this? Scorpio Sag energy, maybe? Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. What's this page of swords? Or this is just someone spying on you, like heavily. Seeing you get every fucking thing that you want. Be abundant. Empress energy or emperor. Masculine or feminine. Whatever you resonate with, okay? But someone here may be heavily spying this this could be causing some oh this is why someone's in this petty energy because they see you as the empress the death card the star card so you've changed you have wish fulfillment you're healing healing someone here is still healing i was trying to say healed but healing came out you're still healing but you're very abundant fertile fruitful you have a lot of nice things around you you have a lot of things going for you a lot of growth in your life and someone here could be kind of like I'm getting like stank eye or some shit. <sighs> Show me the page of swords. Yeah, see what I'm saying? It's like someone here is feeling regretful. Possibly for putting you in competition. Five of Wands. For compete, trying to compete with you. Create drama in your life. Well, damn. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, something here is being released. Or someone here is... What is this person? What is being released? Right? Someone may be having to release control. Star energy. King of Wands. You're about to get everything that you ever fucking wanted, Pisces. Aries, Leo, Sag. We have King to the Queen of Wands out here. We got the King Cups. 
shown itself um, in the Empress. You're about to get everything that you ever wanted. You may be healing something with the Aries, Leo, or a Sag, or an Aquarius. Or someone who has those placements. Virgo, Gemini, Aries is here as well. Or Taurus or Libra. Scorpio. What's being released to Pisces? Some, maybe something financial, some type of investments, assets. Somebody here has been waiting on some type of growth or someone's been investing into a situation and they're burdened by it. So whatever this, that's this over here. Whatever someone's being burdened by, someone was investing into a home or a marriage. Someone here is trying to find the strength and the courage for what? See the strength in the fucking reverse. Okay, so somebody here is like, all right, spirit, for real. Someone here is like, Someone here may have options. Someone here may have a hard time holding back from options or there's just some type of confusion here and someone's losing strength. Someone's losing strength here because they're burdened. They're weighed down. Why are they weighed down? <laughs> I just seen the six of pentacles in the reverse because someone here is worried about somebody moving away or moving on. Someone's worried about someone moving on from the past or someone that they share children with. Two of Cups. Someone's worried that someone's going to be given to someone else. That may just be the case, too. Because I see something new coming in. Something that you've manifested. Some type of soulmate connection coming in. A brand new beginning. The full card. And someone's worried about someone moving on. Someone in their past. Somebody's going to have to release something here. Release control, finances, energy, or just something. Someone's been holding on to someone and they have to let go. They have to let go. They have to let go. Let it go. All right. So let's see. I don't know how well this will work. I don't know this deck off the back of my hand, but let's see. For the new person coming into Pisces life, give me whoa, two to three messages for the new person, for the new person coming in Pisces life, because I, I strongly feel that there is someone new and you've been manifesting this. This is a two of cups, not a three of cups, okay? Can, uh, can we start over? This could be a, damn, could, this could be, the new person could be a past person, y'all. There is a third party and checking on you from afar. Let's just take single cards, but for someone that could be the message. If someone here is at a distance from you or keeping their distance, it's because there's a third party. So let's see, show me the new person. I wish I could take it back. I feel like I ruined everything. I love you and I find you incredibly attractive. Show me the new person. Thank you. I am planning on reaching out to you. There was someone interfering in our relationship. Yeah, there was someone else here, Pisces. But um, someone wants to start over. They feel like they ruined everything. Okay, show me the past person. I, I should, you guys, I know you don't want to hear this, but it, the new person could be a past person for some of you. I love you coming right back out. Someone here definitely, and I find you incredibly attractive. Someone here still has a lot of fighting and arguments and conflict. There could be some fighting. I pulled away because I'm overwhelmed with all the things going on in my life. That's what this is. That's why someone's holding back. They pulled away. They're holding back because they're burdened. The, all these fucking wands on this person's back. They're being fucking, they're carrying all the shit and they, they're weighed down by it. And it could be due to some type of a marriage or... Um, a home situation, fighting. Yeah, there's some fights, arguments, and, and com conflicts, okay? And I want to work things out. This person wants to work things out with you, but they got some shit going on. I don't know what to tell you, Pisces. That's, that's the energy coming. All right, someone here does love you. They want to start something over. They're planning on reaching out to you, but there's still someone interfering in this situation, okay? 
So I'm going to leave this reading here. If it resonates, give you clarity, let me know. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one. Peace.